hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to delete your google workspace admin account let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials and then once you are logged into your account deleting your google workspace admin privileges or account is kind of a straightforward process all you have to do is hover to the admin.google.com which is accessible via the google app section click the admin console right here you will be forwarded to the main page where it all you have to do is click the delete user if you want to delete a specific user with an admin account all you have to do is enter the user to delete for example that's going to be a deep lapse but the thing is you can't delete this user if that is you but instead, if you want to delete your admin account, if you are the super admin account here, you might want to click the account instead in the left side panel of your dashboard. You will be forwarded here. All right, click the account settings. And then you just, you just have to log in to your account. This is just to verify and authorize. Make sure that they are really the user. And then you will be forwarded here. All right, so... And the, when you hover down below, you should be an, have an option for the section right here. That says account management. Deleting DFLAPS account will permanently delete all user accounts, their data, and access to services. All I have to do right now is click this section right here. Expand the account management. And if you want to delete within your account in Google, right here in Google Workspace, your users will lose access to all of the Google Workspace core services and additional Google services. But the, but before you can do that, you want to make sure that to save invoices and transaction history for your account. In my case, that's going to be DFLAPS, which is optional. You can review your subscription payment plans, download any invoices and transactions, which is kind of um, uh, handy if you're working for a client and you want to liquidate some expenses for the invoicing. Just do and go to the payment sessions. Of course, you also have an option to save the data for DFLAPS users. Export the Google Workspace data, which is kind of like a backup data. All right, it takes seven to two hours, but can take up to 14 days just to have a backup data if in case you need anything from this uh, platform. All right, and of course, one of the most important thing is to cancel subscriptions and delete any Google Cloud resources. In my case, I am currently subscribed to the Google Workspace admin and I have to settle any incurring fees and payments to avoid being billed the next month. Even if you delete your um, account here, if the bill is still recurring, you're still going to be billed for that. So if that makes sense, you might want to settle that for now. And the, once you have settled the steps one, two, and three, all right, now you have the option to delete your account here in Google admin workspace without any problem right now it's grayed out because i haven't settled it yet and i'm not gonna delete this account because i am still gonna be creating more videos for this but another option that you can do if you're having problems deleting your workspace admin account for example you have done all these steps one two and three and still the delete account is not um clickable or it's grayed out you might want to click the question mark option here to click to contact the support but what happened is you would be forwarded here and just hover down to describing your issue and press enter all right and you will be forwarded to the contact center and one of the customer support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix it thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video